Hey guys, Heathdo here, and today I'm back looking at some all new Minecraft features, recently released in the first 1.17 Caves and Cliffs snapshot. Specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the new Copper Ore. I'll show you where you can find it and what you can make with it. Copper Ore is the first new overworld ore to be added to Minecraft since Emerald, back in 2012's 1.4 update. It has previously featured in Minecraft mods, but finally has a place in vanilla Minecraft. The ore is orange in colour, with hints of green. Currently, it can be found anywhere below ground, below Y63. It has a similar rarity to iron and coal, and spawns in small veins of typically between 2 and 5 copper ores. Importantly, however, as more cave generation changes are made to the 1.17 update, it is highly likely that the ways in which copper ore spawns will change, so bear this in mind if you're watching in the future. You'll need a stone pickaxe or better to mine copper ore, and once you have, you'll need to smelt it to get copper ingots. Copper ingots can be used for a variety of different things. The main use of copper is to make decorative building blocks. By combining 9 copper ingots, you can make yourself a copper block, which can itself either be cut, waxed, or both. Cut copper is made by placing four copper blocks in a small square, which will draw crossing lines across the block. Alternatively, adding honeycomb will wax the copper, making it more resistant to weathering. If you really want to, you can do both. You'll first need to wax the copper, and then cut it, to get waxed cut copper blocks. Whichever way you choose to design your copper blocks, you'll then be able to make slabs and stairs, perfect for adding a traditional copper roof to your next build. Much like copper in real life, copper in Minecraft will weather over time, but the copper oxidising, which is what gives it its green appearance. There are four stages of copper weathering, with each stage lasting between 1000 and 1640 minutes. That's between 16 hours and 40 minutes, or 27 hours and 20 minutes of real time, or between 50 and 82 in-game days. Besides building blocks, there are also two other cool ways to spend your copper at the moment. The first of which is to craft a spyglass, which is essentially a telescope, which lets you zoom in on faraway objects, much like the Optifine mod does. By default, right-clicking on your mouse will allow you to look through the spyglass. These are made with two copper ingots and one amethyst shard. Another new addition to the game found in the amethyst geodes, which we will talk about in more detail in another video. If you've still got some copper left after building your house and crafting your spyglass, why not make yourself a lightning rod? These can be made with three copper ingots, and will attract any lightning strike within a 16 block radius. This is an ideal way to protect potentially flammable buildings in case of a storm. It will also set off a strong redstone pulse when struck by lightning, so it could be utilised in some kind of adventure map, or a redstone contraption in survival. Note that this is not an exhaustive list, as I would expect more features crafted using copper ore will be added before Minecraft 1.17's full release. So if you'd like to keep up to date with all the new additions, and changes update 1.17 will bring to Minecraft, then do consider subscribing for new Minecraft videos every Saturday, and thanks for watching.